having nothing like a morning cuppa in the morning. For us Brits, it's like our life force, our bloodstream. Without it in the morning, I'm just like, has the day started? Hey guys, how's it going? I thought this might just be a video where I can let out some stuff about when you're feeling meh. <laughs> you know, like stress, anxiety, depression, that kind of stuff. Because I, I guess we're all feeling that nowadays, now more than ever. Of course, there's plenty of things going on in the world right now that could be throwing people off. I mean, there's always going to be stuff going on in the world that could throw people off. But maybe extra nowadays, it's um, making people feel like crap. It feels like in this day and age, the number of people that are feeling this way is increasing. Which is kind of surprising in the sense that if it was like a decade ago, I think people were happier. I don't know if it's something to do with the advancement in technology. Now that everyone can see what everyone's doing throughout the world a lot more easily because of the internet, maybe it's bringing people down a bit. Monitoring people online via social media, seeing all the bad things going in the world, maybe just being stuck to a screen all the time, being locked in on that could um, maybe zone you out of life a bit and it could like wear you down. Comparing yourself to other people on social media might make you feel like, oh, maybe my life isn't going that way. I might be way off on all this. Could be that stuff in combination with the usual tasks we're dealing with. Bills, making sure there's food on the table, that usual rat race dealing with a nine to five job. Maybe there's certain things you're dealing with with family or friends. Maybe you're feeling under pressure about something, maybe overwhelmed. You have to balance a lot of responsibilities. It could be that you're in a situation that you just have no control of and it is just so constricting to you. Or maybe it's just change. You haven't found any change for a while so you're so static or maybe too much change is throwing you off maybe it's a social thing maybe you're falling in love with someone but they don't feel the same way and you have to be around them all the time so that really throws you off but I think the main three things people say that <laughs> brings the greatest amount of stress and anxiety are money work and poor health and I guess you could associate work with money. <laughs> there was a time in my life where I was really feeling depressed because of a number of things. I was in a job that was just making me miserable and I was living with my folks and I didn't feel like I was getting anywhere. Like the pay at the job was awful so I couldn't afford to like move out so I was feeling very static and compressed. I also had feelings for a co-worker but she was with someone and our desks were always near each other so Sitting and being in that environment every day wasn't exactly pleasant. So it's stuff like that that just put me in a real low point. It was just nothing was cheering me up anymore. I, I love playing video games, that wasn't doing it. Going to the cinema, I love watching movies, but that wasn't doing it. It was just constant head feeling down sort of feeling. Now I don't mean to be one of those negative blobs that make people want to jump out their window. <laughs> but it's um, one of those things where it's just letting stuff off the chest and my experiences of going through those kind of rough times and I don't even have to search anywhere or ask anybody to know that plenty of other people are going through their own stuff my, the stuff I went through back then pales in comparison to what others are going through loads of go through all kinds of tragic stuff but I guess what I wanted to say was it, it, that kind of stuff just leaves you with this overwhelming just like pressure on your shoulders it feels like you're drowning this like huge stress and anxiety it just does a number on your health and you just feel like sludge <laughs> it, it just weighs you down and so I thought it would be pretty cool to just share a few of the things that I tried that helped me feel better and I still use to help me like cheer me up when I go through bad times even if I just feel a bit low it's just kind of a nice pick me up just to help me go through the day and none of these are surprising or anything you haven't heard before. I just thought this might be a video to talk about my standpoint and what I do to help me feel a bit better. The first one is tea. Nah, that's not that one. Although it is a nice one for me as a nice little therapeutic thing. Nah, actually my first thing that helps me, um, unsurprisingly, is listening to good, happy, positive music. Even the older, most simplest songs like Here Comes the Sun, What a Wonderful World, Don't Worry Be Happy, Don't Stop Me Now, <laughs> it's just that kind of stuff that puts a bit of a spring in your step. Especially if you go out for a walk whilst listening to headphones, um, just playing those tunes. Early in the morning does it for me, just whilst the sun is like rising and that, just walk for half an hour uh, whilst listening to some tunes. It, it, it's like really like relaxing and sort of just 
flushes out any um, bad stuff in you. I think what adds to it is if it's early in the morning, there's less people around. So it's just more of a nice quiet area for you to just walk around and do your thing. You might even feel like you do a bit of a mm -mm -mm, bit of a jiggy, bit of a bully Maguire maybe. <laughs> it's just as you're going around the street, just enjoying those tunes. I've never gone all out doing bully Maguire like yeah. <laughs> but maybe I will at Sunday and then some old woman doing her shopping will look at me and go, what the hell is he doing? If not whilst having a walk, just whilst doing chores or whilst at work or just anywhere you can fit it in. Of course, everyone says that music is good for the soul. And so if you're listening to like cheery, positive kind of music, that will like envelop that feeling in you. So the second thing I do that helps me feel better it's not so much meditation stuff, it's just simple breathing exercises and trying to clear your head. So I might just sit alone in a room, some peace and quiet for myself, get myself comfy and then I shut my eyes and just think of as many positive memories as I can. As many things in my life that has made me happy, uh, this just felt good, just good experiences, uh, just even the nicest, simplest things, maybe chilling with friends and family, all the way up to maybe going on holiday and trying different experiences. And that alone just helps. It, it makes my mouth just go up whilst thinking about those uh, good memories. It's just a nice little reminder that, you know, you, you have had enjoyable things going on in your life and it will like sort of reinforce in you that there will be good times to come. At the very least on that very day that you're doing that, it will kind of put a spring in your step and you'll make you, it kind of helps you see things in a positive light where you're just taking on things and challenges and tasks in a more lighter way which in itself could inspire more good memories because you're thinking of it that way. You're thinking of it in a positive light. And then following that, I then clear my head as much as I can. <laughs> I know thoughts try to get in there, but I try. Also whilst counting from one to 10 and then from 10 to one. And I do that like several times. It just helps to clear my head. Just anything in there just niggling at me is just sort of like a fresh start for the day. My, my mind is just open and ready to take on the day without any baggage in there that's just holding me down. And I say that takes around 10-15 minutes, you know, just a nice breather to myself. Just a little moment where I can just like remind myself that, you know, my life <laughs> has good times and I can still have good time. And just getting myself ready and geared. It's like it's important for me to do this at the start of the day, just so I can take on the rest of it with a, a good mindset a good frame of mind where it's just like yeah i'm ready to go so i think the third thing that helps me is doing the odd thing out of the norm like trying a new coffee shop that you've kept your eye on for a while order maybe a new meal in the shopping um maybe try a show that you never thought you'd uh, go to maybe trying something with your loved ones i mean my wife isn't usually into video games but one night we gave it a go and it was like really fun. I mean, it's a nice thing just um, doing that sort of activity together. Maybe read a book you never thought you'd try or little things like do a chore in a different way. I mean, I used to just do washing up silently. Now I just put on the radio, listen to magic whilst I'm doing it. And that adds an extra beat to my step and it helps the washing up just flow by. You're not going to do something all the time. It's just going to be here and there. But just having that odd moment like that where you're just breaking out of your usual routine it just helps you snap out of that static place where you just feel just so stagnant and not going anywhere. It's like a spice of life. It's just adding that little sprinkle that like shakes it up just even a little bit where it just makes you reflect and go, okay, that was something that is like a bit more like flavorsome. It's not the usual mundane stuff from day to day. That's right, just for free, I have given you that vision of me doing the washing up whilst listening to Queen's Don't Stop Me Now. Do stop me now and i think the fourth and final thing that really helps me especially during that depressive horrible time and has helped me ever since then is listening to motivational speakers like while i was at my lowest i was just on my bed flicking through youtube and then it just came to me just typing motivation <laughs> it's just something that could perk me up and then it was just saying all kinds of stuff from motivational speakers like um, Les Brown and Tony Robbins, Eric Thomas, Jim Ron, just guys like that. They were just so 
inspiring and just telling you like you don't have to be stuck where you are and just trying to motivate you to like make changes in your life for the better there was one time i was on my way to work just having the headphones in listening to these guys and i was just like getting pumped like yeah and by the time i got in the office I was like let's do it let's get this shift on i'm gonna kill these hours yeah <laughs> and actually they helped me enough that i was able to make a career change get out of that poor job that was just making me miserable and try a different field and I studied for that, you know, trying to get the education to get in that field and then I got a job and here I am today. I just feel so much better working in the field I am now compared to what I was doing in that job. You can hear a bunch of their speeches on YouTube and there's endless material there just to try and change your mindset, try and get you thinking in different ways and just really inspiring you to make sort of changes that will make you feel like better and just feel good. They try to get you to feel like you should make the leap, take the risk, you know, put yourself out there to achieve whatever you want to achieve because you only live once and just living it safe and statically all the time is, is just so unfulfilling and demoralizing. It's bad for your health, I think, as well. It, you just feel so down. Your whole body's just like, ugh. <laughs> you feel like one big stodge podge or something like that. Of course, we say that's easier said than done. <laughs> but I guess it's not so much that you have to make the absolute biggest changes straight away so dramatically. It's kind of like step by step, piece by piece. You know, each day you take it as one step closer to achieving your goals and doing little things here and there that can just make you feel like, okay, this is this is feeling more like how I want things, how I want things to be in my life. Of course, it's not easy. Anything that you want in life is not easy. You have to like go through the grind to achieve what you want. And it's not like whatever the speakers say to you is always going to be ingrained in your brain every day. I mean, we're people after all, and we're gonna have different emotions. We're not gonna be feeling it all the time. There's gonna be a time we're gonna be like, oh, just stuff what they say. It's just like, I don't wanna hear anything. But the key is to get out of that when you're ready to like you know go through that process feel what you gotta feel just let out that negative emotion and then get ready to go back on that horse and try and work on what you want to work on but listening to those guys especially when they give stories of the sort of hurdles they've went through in their lives to get to where they are now really helps and it really just makes you quite reflective on what you go through and what kind of stuff you could do to make your life like a bit more better for yourself but I would highly recommend those speakers easily. Just listen to them every now and again. And of course, your life's not gonna be perfect after that. It is There's always gonna to be tough times, but listening to them really was a kick in the backside that I think I needed. So yeah, those were my tips on what I do to help me feel a bit better going day to day. And trust, there will be days where none of this will work. You will be in such a slump that even a puppy with a basket of sweets on its back won't cheer you up. It's because, like I said, we're human, we're natural, we need to go through certain processes, certain emotions, and it's not as easy as pie just to like snap out of something, just to switch gears. You can't just go from zero to a hundred like that. We all go through things. It's just as long as we don't stay in that rut. You know, like I said, get back on that horse and just move forward with what we want to do. But even the simple stuff like breathing exercises and listening to cheery music can really just help you get by day to day and just look at things in a more brighter aspect. Like I said, none of these things are surprising to any of you. <laughs> They're nothing major at all. I'm just letting off how I feel and what I go through and what I do about it. Um, if you are going through tough times, I, like, I feel for you. I, I really hope that you can get through it and you could maybe try some things to help you get out of that rut or at least just take a, a, a moment to maybe just smile or just think a light-hearted thing, just to give a bit of a spark to your day. We all go through bad stuff, we all go through terrible times, and it can range from just feeling off all the way to absolute life-shattering, crumbling sort of events. It's like, damn, life can suck sometimes. <laughs> but even if you have just like a little glimmer in like a sea of darkness, it's healthy to have kind of some sort of balance, both for yourself and your loved ones. 
I really do think it's good to hold on to something positive, otherwise it's going to be so hard to get out of that sludge you're stuck in. You're just like drowning, it's like, get me out of here. But I think I'd be the most depressing person in the world if I just went, yep, let's just wallow in it <laughs> without at least maybe giving some two cents that could maybe help at least one person. If I can help at least one person with some, some sort of like positive kind of talk then I'd say this video was like worth something. So yeah, I'm glad I let this out. I've been feeling a bit stressed and low this morning. <laughs> so following one of my tips, I thought I'd try something out of the norm and make this video. And uh, yeah, it feels good. Feels good to let something out like this every now and again. It sort of just adds a bit of extra kick in your step. Puts your head up. Don't they say like if, like what helps you feel a bit better is like if you look up, because if you feel down, you feel quite low. But if you look up, you feel positive. I think that works. I might try it again just to be sure. But yeah, I hope you guys have a brilliant day. If you're going through any tough times or struggles, I, I really hope that you can get through it all right. And um, yeah, if you want, let know in the comments anything you're going through or want to let anything out or any tips you think that can help with stress, anxiety or any depressive feelings or anything like that. I'm sure any tips that are mentioned, it will help someone. Maybe it'll help me. Maybe I'll give it a go. <laughs> Thank you very much for listening, guys. It means a lot. I really wish you all the best. And uh, yeah, until next time, I will see all you legends later. See ya.